We know that shepherds are notoriously smart, but was Max specifically trained to do that? Well, X wasn't actually intended to be a service dog. We got him when he was about eight weeks old, and he was actually a birthday present for my daughter. Oh. And he immediately just took up to me and just wanted to follow me everywhere, wanted to be, you know, just close to me all the time. Mm. And I noticed about three months of age with him that he started kind of seizure alerting on his own. Whenever, mm. even if it was a seizure I felt coming and, you know, I was going to get myself somewhere, he would follow me, circle me, nudge me, you know, start to bark, start to whine, kind of act out of his character. Yeah. So we knew that he was sensing something and he would do it even on ones that I didn't know were coming because I've battled epilepsy for 20 years, you know, so it's kind of, I know when some are coming, but sometimes I don't. And I kind of got um, in touch with a gentleman that does dog training and he kind of put me in touch with all the basics. Um, he helped me learn all the basic stuff that Max would need. And then he gave me some tips on how to start my service training and stuff like that. And then everything else I've just done here from home myself. Awesome. Well, mm -hmm. Kelly, let's go to you. I mean, we've we've highlighted on the show in the in the past the remarkable capability of dogs to to sort of sniff out disease processes. So in this case, how, how do you think it's possible that dogs know something like that a seizure is about to happen, obviously, before we humans mm -hmm. do? This is actually a pretty controversial topic in the service dog industry. Like, how are they picking up on this? Now, I've been part of uh, training with seizure dogs where we use scent samples. We took sweat samples from someone while they're having a seizure and while they're not. And then we taught the dog to specifically recognize that really unique chemical signature of when someone's having a seizure. Now, to say it is only scent stuff that Max is picking up on would be um, ignoring the, the larger picture of what potentially could be going on here. So scent could very well be the cue that he's picking up on. But when you have a dog, especially that has kind of alerted on their own, you can have a dog that's tuned into their person so much that they're noticing little micro expressions, yeah. tiny changes in that person's behavior that they may not even be aware of. Things like, you know, slight breathing changes, or maybe the person starts to zone out in one direction, these little tiny things. But when you have a dog that is with you day in and day out, they might be picking up on that as well. The cool thing is, regardless of whether it is scent that Max is picking up on or tiny behavior cues, he's found something that has been very reliable in predicting when his person needs him to do something. And then you can harness that cue, whatever he's picking up on, and teach him to do a behavior like lowering his person to the ground and keeping her safe in a really incredible way. Very cool stuff. So, Tina, do you consider Max a true hero? I know we do. <laughs> oh, I definitely do. Um, he just, he gives me such a comfort. It's kind of like having my own personal little pet security blanket, I guess you could say. Um, before I had Max, I have fallen, I have got hurt, I've broken bones. Mm. You know, even on ones that I knew were coming, sometimes it's hard to get yourself to safety if I can't alert someone else, you know, that I need help. You know, Max stays by my side, you know, constantly 24 seven, he never leaves my area. So if I can't get somewhere to get help or call for help, he will bark to alert for help if I need help. And so I definitely have been blessed with him. You sure have. Yeah. Max truly yeah. is an incredible dog. By the way, Come where here. is Max? Right. Where is he? He's where right is here. our superstar right of the day? Feet. Come here. Don't be oh. shy, Max. Come oh. on, Maxie. Come on. Oh. Come on. Here he goes. Ah, there he is. There That's he is. a ah. handsome fellow. <laughs> so, so, so well behaved. Very and, well behaved. I mean, look, very, look very, at that. He, he was laying by yeah. my feet the whole segment. Every time you guys said his name, he kept looking up like, who is talking to me? <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for joining Thank us you today. And, and Dr. Ish, I think it's just the tip of the iceberg. We've, we've talked so. about service yeah. dogs able to diagnose cancer. Yep. We've seen those videos where they alert, you know, somebody outside the house that somebody in that house is in trouble. Well, yeah. that being said, consider a service yep. dog. They are awesome.